The summer Nintendo eShop sales are outrageous. In today's video, I'll take you through some of the best deals you can pick up right now, and all of the games that we'll cover will be at brand new, low prices. Then at the end, as always, I'll have a quick reel of other deals that you can pick up that while not at new lows, are still excellent values. This is part one, keep it locked in over the weekend for even more coverage from this amazing sale. But before we jump in, let me take a quick moment to thank all of you that write into us every week or those of you that have joined the crew as a subscriber, it means a lot to myself and Little Man. Every week we grow a bit stronger as a community and you all make the creation process a true joy for me. I still get excited to chat with you all and look forward to seeing the longtime viewers pop through in the comments. Some of you have been here over a year and some closer to the full two years that we've been on YouTube. I really do want to thank you all for the love and support. We don't have a big team of writers behind us or any corporate sponsors, so our success is totally as a result of you all here watching the video and hanging out with us. Much, much love. Alright, enough of the mushy stuff, let's get to the deals. Without any further ado, I give you another amazing round of deals at rock bottom prices. Stay safe and let's dive in. Alright, we'll start today with The Messenger, which is a retro-inspired 2D action platformer that has a roughly 15-hour main campaign, and the download is around 2 gigs. The game features intense aerial combat with tight controls, power-ups and upgrades, secret levels, fun boss battles, and all wrapped in a cool retro aesthetic that shifts between 8 and 16-bit pixelated graphics and delivers an all-original soundtrack as well. It's one of the better games in the genre, and right now you can pick it up for just $4.99, finally dropping under $5 for the first time and the deal ends on the 25th, this is a single-player adventure. Turnip Boy Commits Tax Evasion is a single-player top-down action-adventure title that gives players about 3-4 to four hours of main story gameplay and does offer a bit of replay value as well. It has a download around 350 megabytes and lets players adventure through a somewhat open-world environment solving puzzles and taking on numerous different enemies that you'll encounter. It takes a more comedic approach to the dialogue and the story overall, it's actually a refreshing take on the genre and involves everyone's favorite topic, taxes. If you're interested in Turnip Boy, be sure to grab it up before the deal ends on the 22nd. It's marked down 66% to a new low of just 509. Up next, we have Eldest Souls, which is a single player top down action RPG. It has a Souls like boss rush feel to it and can take more than 10 hours to complete. Now, it's incredibly challenging though, so I wouldn't be surprised if you put dozens of hours in before finishing up. It has a download around 1.4 gigs and puts players into different combat scenarios that require precise timing and of course you'll have to spend some time learning the boss patterns as well before you can master each fight. You are fighting ancient gods after all and right now you can pick up Eldest Souls for just $5.99, mark down 70% to a brand new low and the deal ends on the 25th. Ocean's Heart is a single player Zelda like action RPG that gives players roughly 10 to 15 hours of gameplay with a download around 310 megabytes. In this one we play as a young heroine named Tilia as she sets off on an adventure to find her missing father. It features a beautiful pixelated open world to explore with dungeons, different biomes and tons of cool enemies to take out. As you play through you'll find upgrades and craft potions that you'll need to help reach new areas or give yourself an advantage in combat when needed. It really is a fantastic game and right now you can pick it up at a brand new low of just $5.99, mark down 60% and the deal ends on the 25th. Bug Fables The Everlasting Sapling is an interesting single player turn based RPG with a unique visual design and it gives players upwards of 50 hours of gameplay and the download is under 400 megabytes, making this a great value and easy on the SD card. The story is told in chapter form and follows three main heroes on a quest for gold and immortality. It has a vast overworld and features unique areas plus as you travel you'll encounter battles where the game transitions into these fun turn based fights. It offers tons of content with loads of secrets to find, including more than 10 secret bosses as well. Right now you can pick up this wonderful RPG on sale for just $7.49, mark down 70% to a new low, and the deal ends on the 25th. Tales of Iron is a single player 2D action adventure RPG with a download around 1.7 gigs and it gives players a unique story that could take roughly 10 hours or so to complete. It features gorgeous hand-drawn art and animations, and they did a great job of creating a grim and foreboding atmosphere. The combat will require you to learn the enemy patterns and practice patience, and it's surprisingly deep with a parry system and both long-range as well as melee attacks, both of which can be just as devastating as the other. 
On top of that, it offers a crafting system for weapons, armor, and even potions, and the game does a pretty good job of walking you through the process for each of these. It's a great RPG, and right now you can pick it up for just $7.49, mark down 70% to a new low, and the deal ends again on the 25th. Curse of the Dead Gods is a tough roguelike with a unique curse system that separates it from other games in the genre. It's a single player title that gives you more than 30 hours of gameplay on average with tons of replay value and of course it really does have a tough learning curve. It's a blast though, the controls feel great, the combat is brutal, plus each run is different from the last so it's a great game for short play sessions or on the go game. The graphics are gorgeous here on the console and the music is perfect for setting the mood. I love the amount of choice the game gives you and each curse can come with its own set of negatives as well so you really do have to put some thought into it. If you're interested in this one you can pick it up for just $7.99, mark down 60% to a new low and the deal ends on the 25th. Up next we have Sonic Mania which is a modern take on the retro classics that it was inspired by. The creator had a true passion for the franchise and the character and was eventually able to work with Sega to bring it to us in 2017. It offers two-player local co-op and there was some DLC that released a bit later that players could pick up for a small price as well. The game felt like a true return to the retro titles only with beautiful crisp HD graphics and modern quality of life features added on top. It controls great as you would expect and it runs at a buttery smooth 60 FPS here on the console. It's a fantastic pickup for fans of the series and right now it's at a brand new low of just $7.99, marked down 60% until the 25th and you only need about 400 megabytes for the download. Next we have Blossom Tales 2 The Minotaur Prince which is an incredible top-down Zelda-like adventure title. It's a single player outing just like the first one and this time gives players an even more expansive world to explore. It has a download around 325 megabytes and should last roughly 10 to 15 hours to wrap up. Now the way these games tell the story is always interesting and once again we have fun dungeons, tight controls and enjoyable combat and for fans of older Zelda titles you'll recognize many of the gadgets and items that you can find as well. I highly recommend this game, it's actually a steal at $9.74, the game finally dropped under $10 and you can pick it up right now. Hurry up though, the deal ends on the 19th at midnight. Backbone is a single player narrative adventure title where we play as a somewhat washed up detective, caught in a power struggle with the elites in the city after taking a seemingly harmless case. The gameplay itself is very heavy on dialogue with light stealth and detective segments added in. It has an interesting story that grips you, and the developers did a great job of creating a world that feels alive. The pixel art is very well done here. It's definitely a mature game and does have a lot of profanity, so keep that in mind if you're considering picking it up. Now the game should take about 5 hours to complete, and you can pick it up at a brand new low of just $9.99, marked down 60% again until the 25th. Alright everyone, here are a few other deals to check out while you're already on the eShop. Alright folks, that's the end of part 1. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button and let me know down below if you plan to pick anything up this weekend. Stay tuned for part 2 very soon, and until then, take care everyone, thanks for watching.